Hello and welcome to the Awakened Saints channel. This is Ken Potter. Wanted to do a quick video about the upcoming eclipse on April 8th. If it's sunny enough, not too overcast, I probably will do a video from uh, Erie, Pennsylvania, which is going to be in the path of totality. So looking forward to that. But in the meantime, looking at this map, you can see that it kind of divides the United States into four quadrants, but they're not really evenly distributed on this map. You can see that the eastern section is rather small, as is or the southeastern section. Uh, what's west of the 2024 line is much larger. So it's really not a, like an even split into four even sections. But that got me wondering, what about population? What if you did a populate did this against a population map? So um, us using this population map, let's take a look at if see if it looks more even. Now, first to understand this, this is not a typical population map which divides by color. In this one, the population is shown by what looks like um, mountains or or a elevation, but it's really not. So the, the large peaks you see are actually where the population density is the highest. So in the top right, you see New York City. That's the highest population density. So that's what it would look like if the population were stacked up, right? And then in the, on the bottom right in Florida, you can see Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Um, in the bottom central, you see Texas and Dallas has a pretty big peak. And and then over on the in the west, California has a Los Angeles is a large peak, etc. So this pretty much shows where most people are living and where and where it's very very flat, like places up like in Montana, it's a very low population density. Now flat doesn't mean that the land is flat. That simply means in this depiction, what appears flat represents a low population density. So I'm not saying that. Montana is flat per se, but in this picture, it's flat represents where not a lot of people live. Okay, so let's go back now to the original map and look at particularly at the 2017 eclipse line. And notice that it actually does seem to split the United States pretty 50-50. You've got uh, pretty much the south and most of the west on, below it and most of the north and east above it, right? So land-wise, the split of the 2017 eclipse does a pretty good job of, of being 50-50. Now let's put that one on our population map. Now, as you can see here, the eclipse comes in in Oregon, and you'll notice that it pretty much sticks with low population areas. But yet it's, it's dividing the population, and in this case, really the land, really 50-50, right? You've got all of California below it. You've got all of Florida and Texas below it. And then you've got the real highly populated, uh, dense northeast above it. So just taking a general look at this division, it really does seem to be a pretty even split. But again, back to the original, now we look at the 2024 line, and it seems to be much more to the east than it does dividing down the middle. Now let's take a look at the population map with the 2024 eclipse superimposed on top. And here we can see that this eclipse, while it, it's much more on the eastern half, it also seems to be dividing the population up in such a way to give us for pretty balanced looking quadrants of population. So you be the judge. Please feel free to comment. I don't think this is a coincidence. This looks beyond coincidence to me. Looks like if, if that X was, was right in the middle and then it had to be adjusted for population, it looks like it's pulled to the right or to the east in order to be adjusted so that the population splits are pretty even amongst the four quadrants. God bless. See you soon. Bye-bye.